Hello people, Eastern Ontario. Well, everything's looking great, you know, solar panels. And these solar panels there, just put some on the roof there. I've got three more to put there. Old Faithful is not spinning, but that's not what I'm here today. As you can see, I've just built my first solar hot air heater, hot air box, whatever you want to call it. Got some real glass. Look at this, eh? One inch. Uh, plain gas and it's uh, one by six over here two inch uh, polyethylene styrofoam high heat styrofoam all around in the back and I've got uh, two by six here to sit my uh, my window pane there just some ordinary angles you know 90 degree angles and I didn't do it with the uh, the pop cans we made two at my friend's place and we got one with pop cans there and one with non pop cans and we found out that the uh, one with uh, no pop cans just a nice sheet of uh, aluminum uh, roofing okay and uh, we split right in half okay and we've put the uh, I don't know if you can see there we didn't put it ver uh, vertically horizontally so the wind or the air gets to move inside there and see those baffles they're stuck to the window every then so the wind has to really mix in the back of the sheet and in the front of the sheet and these are my baffles just some four inch um, ABS piping also to the window right next to the window and just put some holes to it you know just to uh, make the air go behind there I don't know if you can see but it goes behind the sheet and it goes in front of the sheet and the same thing in the back except con uh, contrary like this piece of wood on this piece of wood so the wind can still wave through there and through the sheet metal okay there you go as you can see that's the other baffle same thing little holes four inch uh, ABS pipe really stuck to the window don't forget this window is a thick inch so that's why it seems like uh, it's not at the window but it's directly at the window so uh, and that's very important when I see people put the fiberglass there no just go to your uh, local uh, window shop there and they got a bunch of old windows and hey, I got this one for free and they even cut it to my size and put the uh, these insulator between the two uh, window panes so it's great I got two windows like that I'm gonna make another one the other one's gonna go uh, on top there but for now uh, that is that my first hot box love it and uh, I'll show you the inside with no fan so we're inside so there's one of the hole just got insulation stuck right in there and I double insulated with the styrofoam on top I just got to put my rack this uh, oh, this is going to be the finishing uh, finished product when it, it's done and uh, right now I have no fan so there's no circulation there's the uh, bottom hole yeah I know we're still in the construction it's an old bathroom and we're still we're doing everything so it's an old house eh? so there's uh, the other hole same thing baffle I don't know if you can see those holes down there right to the window so uh, hot air, I mean cold air is going in here and uh, gets mixed between the two, uh, the, the one sheet of metal and it's a roof tin I should say, a roof tile, a roof tin. Again, stuck it with insulation plus really uh, stick the uh, insulation foam, expanding foam in there also. So it's nice and insulated still. It'll fuck up here but hey, what can you do? And right now with no fan here, look at this, this is the heat coming out. I don't know if I can focus on this. That's close to 150 degrees coming out. No fan. Just passive hair coming out, you know. And you can feel the hair coming out. And right now, uh, 150 degrees. And you know what time it is, people? Quarter after 10, as you can see. 
So quarter after 10, maybe uh, it really starts around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the sun goes right on it. And uh, and it's only going to go up 150, almost 150 degrees Fahrenheit in there, in that box. I'm going to leave that there for a few uh, few hours. I'll come back around noon and let you know uh, how, how, how high this box goes up. And... Um, and uh, we'll add the we'll add a fan also this afternoon, so I know it's going to bring down the uh, the heat a bit there. But for now, <laughs> got the other baffle up on top. So I got to cut the uh, styrofoam, so I'll do that this afternoon, and uh, we'll see how much heat we can get off this hot box. But as you can see, we got uh, right now exactly 140 degrees, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Unbelievable. And this is going to heat up. This whole bathroom for sure during the day. That's free heat, people. Free heat. Oi! Hey, people. Eastern Ontario. 11.30. I just want to show you my passive hot air heater. So, starting to do a little bit of plaster there. First, uh, first coat. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. I just want to show you. We were at 150. We are at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Unbelievable. It is 11.30. That's my intake. So got some finishing touch to do. A little bit of sanding. Two, three coats of uh, plaster. Put my grill. And I still have no fan on. So, still no fan. And we are reaching 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Great. I'll take a picture later. And I'll show you how high this box can go. Man, it's hot.